All right, welcome back. It's Tim from Ballistic Machinist. I'm here at Pioneer Cuts, and today I'm going to show you how I made my new disco slug in this UMC 500 SS. And I'm just going to walk you through the, the process and, and show, you, show you some of the machining clips and all that. So let's get into it. So the first thing we need to do is touch off the stock so the machine knows where to cut. I have to position the probe over top of the workpiece and then start the cycle that will touch it off so it comes down and touches the top and finds Z0 and then it's going to touch front to back in Y to find the center of the round stock and then it's going to come over and do left to right and find the center of the stock in X. So now that that's done, I have to go over here and go into my work offset. And I'm going to drop Z 125 thousandths or an eighth of an inch. So that when it comes in, it'll face off the top of the part. And then it will start creating the new one on the stock that is there. Here we go. It's going to bring over a half inch carbide in now and it's going to start facing off the top here and then we're going to skip ahead and there it is doing the second to last pass facing it off and after it faces the stock down and finishes the top we're going to go into a path to start going around the outside of the part and start creating the shape of the disco slope So there it is rough on the outside, and this part took about 18 to 19 minutes to make, so I'm going to fast forward it here and skip ahead some, because it would be kind of boring to watch it all. Here it's getting into roughing the top part of the multi-sided pyramid of the disco. This ends up with 26 different sides when it's done, and this is roughing it out. We've got another speed up section right here so that we can get through all of the roughing of the shape so we can start doing some finishing work. Alright, so there we have it all roughed in, and now it's going to come down and tilt it, and it's going to bring that same half inch end mill over, and it's going to make the first cut to cut the one of the 26 different sides. And then it's going to bring it down to 90 degrees, and it's going to make another cut. And after this one, it's going to bring it back up on a 45, and then it's just going to keep rotating around and making the individual cuts to create all of those facets on the part. So that's how it flips around to cut those and we're going to speed up here to get through that and then I will show you when it brings it back down to 90 to cut some more. Alright, so there it is back down at 90, and my big finger gets in the way right here. But it's going to go through and cut the rest of these sides, and then we're going to drill the holes in it. The slug is made out of 101 copper, and I'm going to put the holes in it coming up here in a second because I wanted to try to make it whistle as it flies through the air.
There it goes grabbing a 149 thou drill and it's going to come over and drill one straight through the middle and once it drills that one it's going to lay down and drill through the cross section at 90 degrees from this one. Alright, so we're going to skip ahead here and go to down at 90 so that you can see it bringing the tool down and making those cuts to drill it. And then it's going to do that eight times because I'm only drilling to the center of the part. So we're going to skip ahead because the drilling is kind of boring and takes a long time. And here's the finished product with all the different holes. It ends up with 10 different holes in it to the center. But it's going to come up here and now it's going to go grab that same half inch end mill that we had before and then it's going to tilt the part down on another 45 degree, the same plane as we had cut the first one, but on the first facet, we cut it with the end of the end mill. This one I'm going to step down with the side of the end mill to create the bottom set of facets. For you guys who like feeds and speeds, I'm going 500 surface footage on a 3 feet carbide end mill, and I'm going about a thou and a half chip load per tooth. I am 75 thousandths step down. I could be going faster and harder at this, but I'm more concerned with making the part and getting it out looking good than trying to make it as fast as possible. But we got another speed up here so you can see the entire process of cutting the facets on the bottom. But we will slow it down to regular speed right here so that you can get the last couple of cuts to see how it's made all of the sides. So right now you've got 25 of the 26 sides complete. Well, this is the 25th side of the 26 sides. Now that it's getting done here, cutting the last one of those sides, it's going to go up and grab a two and a half inch slitting saw and bring it over. And it's going to actually saw this part off and be complete in one operation. That's a two and a half inch diameter slitting saw that's 27 thousandths wide. And there it goes. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm going to be posting more videos here with my friends from Pioneer Cuts. So subscribe to their channel, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.